The evolution of the CPU is a driving force behind modern technology. But its foreshadowing can be seen all the way back in the first draft of a report on the EDVAC written by John von Neumann and published on June 30, 1945. This report describes the concept of a stored program computer. Before the EDVAC report, computers were hardwired to their task. These systems were very inflexible when introducing new tasks because physical rewiring was required. This limitation gave these systems the name fixed program computers. The first prototype of a stored program computer called the Manchester Small Scale Experimental Machine was seen running its first program on June 21, 1949. With this concept, new tasks can now be written into memory. This eliminated the need for rewiring. This prototype has evolved into the systems that we are so familiar with today. Intel has been the dominant CPU manufacturer for some time. In the 1980s, Intel was given a contract by IBM to produce CPUs for the upcoming IBM PCs. This was the beginning of Intel's hold on the CPU's manufacturing market. Many other manufacturers came and went, but one competitor that stood the test of time is Advanced Micro Devices also known as AMD. Up until the mid-1990s, Intel and AMD chips were identical and could be used interchangeably on the same motherboards. This was a consequence of a contract that Intel signed with AMD back in the 1980s, giving AMD the right to use their chip designs. After a long legal battle, a settlement was reached and AMD stopped using Intel's design. Because of this change, the two manufacturer's chips are no longer interchangeable. The Intel 8080, which was a 16-bit CPU and boasted a maximum clock speed ranging from 5 MHz to 10 MHz, was the CPU to be found in the original IBM PCs. It was manufactured from 1979 to the 1990s and used the 16-bit x86 instruction set with a feature width of 3 micrometers. The Intel 386 or the i386 was introduced in 1985. It was a 32-bit CPU with clock speeds ranging from 12 MHz to 40 MHz, featured a width of 1 nanometer used the 32-bit x86 instruction set and was packaged in a 32-pin PGA layout. The IA64 is an Intel's Itanium family of 64-bit CPUs that was introduced in 2001. 64-bit CPUs used the 64-bit x86 instruction set. This made it possible to support greater RAM sizes than that of the 32-bit designs. CPUs have changed shapes over the years. The original Intel 8080 came in a DIP package. In the late 1990s, CPUs took a slotted form and currently CPUs are packaged in a pin grid array or PGA format. The CPU's density has also changed over time. This can be best explained by an observation made by Gordon Moore, the co-founder of Intel. Referred to as Moore's Law, this prediction states that the number of transistors on an integrated circuit will double every two years for the foreseeable future. This translates to more and more powerful CPUs. This prediction has held true for some time but it is becoming more difficult to fabricate transistors on smaller and smaller dimensions. 
So in the future, new manufacturing processes will be needed. So like many great inventions, the CPU also had small beginnings. But what this technology has brought about has changed the world in a profound way. It has taken us from the industrial age and rocketed us into the digital age and will continue to be a defining part for future societies. So that's all for now on the CPU. For more lessons like this, subscribe to the channel and as always, thank you for watching.